What's up, everyone? So this is the life right here. So we're sitting out here. I got Katie over there. Say hi, Katie. So we're sitting on our porch. If I, if I pan this around, guys, you see a beautiful view. This is why I moved to Tennessee. So it's October. Now, normally we're facing snowstorms in uh, Illinois. Right now I'm sitting out here enjoying life, enjoying the moment. Got my dog Ruckus out here. Got my laptop getting work done. And I just did an Instagram story about an update on my training. And I thought, you know, I'm kind of chill. I'm not in my normal boom mode. And I just thought I'd kind of go over what's going on right now. So my training today, I actually went to the field. I went up to a park. I train out with my kids and I took the day off the gym and I'm going to get into that in a second. So what I did is I, my knees and my hips, everything's hurting. I've been training six to seven days a week just in the zone. And I could train every day and be just as intense. Mentally, I'm there. Physically, I'm 40. I'm not recovering like I did when I played football in my teens. It is what it is. You know, you can take all the HRT in the world. At the end of the day, hormonally, I'm great, but my joints have had 40 years of wear and tear. And I can't recover from a nervous system or from a joint standpoint like I used to when I was younger. So what I've done is I've redesigned my program. I'm doing a four day split. I'm gonna try and find it. I have it somewhere, but I haven't, I have this written down and it's the same split. It's an Exos four day split that I wrote. Yeah, 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 boo. Ah, yeah. All right. It's an Exos four day split. So essentially Monday it's upper body. I'm sorry, it's upper body pull. Tuesday it's lower body pull. What that means is Monday is basically back and biceps pulling upper body. Tuesday would be lower body, straight leg deadlifts, hamstrings, glutes, things like that. Wednesday is my regen day. Regen day means active recovery. So what I do on regen day is I'll do, for example, today, I did mini bands. And I'm going to actually film this all. My wife was going to film it. But she, I went over this in my story as well. If you don't follow me on Instagram, do it. So basically my wife trains with me every day. When I was training six days a week, she trained with me four of those six days. So my volume is lower when I train because I go six days, but on the four day split, which I haven't even finished my split, I, I, I got tan, I went tangential on you. But when I train four days, I pack it all in to get that extra recovery. So her body's messed, like she's, she's tired. She needed a complete day. So essentially what I did today is mini bands. I did lateral, linear, external rotations. And again, I was gonna film that, but what I was saying is my wife didn't go to the park with me today because she needed a complete day off. So next time I do it, I will film it and I'll show you what I'm doing. After that, I did mini hurdles, both bilateral and unilateral. Now I'm gonna show you how to do those as well. Mini hurdles are great for athletes, preventing ACL tears. Also, it's great for rehabbing knees. It forces you to stabilize and work all your muscles. Okay, after that, I did world's greatest stretch. I did a ton of those, I think 10 total. And then I did um, inchworms. Inchworms, walk out, and then walk back out with your feet. So those are really awesome to do. Hear those sirens, you never hear that. That's gotta be an ambulance because a lot of old people here, no crime. So anyway, Thursday, I come back to the gym. So I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off. Thursday, I come back to the gym and I'll essentially do upper body push, chest, shoulder, tricep. Friday is up is lower body push, squats, leg press, hack squats, things like that. So, you know, what I'm saying is I'm basically taking my workout that was done over six to seven days and doing it in four days, hitting my entire body over four days. And I found that what I call the exo split, which I kind of took from exos and made it my own is that it gives me time to recover. It also gives me those extra days for regen. Now this weekend, for example, and pretty much every weekend, it seems for the rest of my life, um, my kids have soccer tournaments. So I'm with Thomas in St. Louis. So on Friday, I leave. So I'm gonna go train at the gym, do my upper, do my lower body push day. And then Thomas and me are heading out to St. Louis. Um, we're there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Saturday and Sunday are off days from the gym. 
What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my Tiger Fitness bands. If you're interested in those, I'm gonna link them down below, the Tiger Fitness resistance bands for resistance band training. A lot of y'all bought them because of lockdowns. A lot of y'all in New York who are locked down again, good idea to buy those just in case. And also to have them if you ever travel or just wanna get a quick workout in the house. Phenomenal, phenomenal tool to have, and they're very cheap. They're under 50 bucks for five resistance bands, five levels of resistance. So um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do full body resistance band training, do some cardio and rest. So essentially I'm doing four days a week. Now my macros right now, still really high. We actually just raised them. We're at 550 grams of carbs, 280 grams of protein, and 70 grams of fat Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday through Sunday, we're on 300 grams of carbs, 280 grams of protein, 70 grams of fat. And as we get closer, we're gonna start actually putting my carb days on the towards the end of the week so my body gets used to peaking when the show's gonna be. So it becomes more of a routine, so my body's used for it. And again, Alex Kickle is the one helping me with my diet right now. Um, my training, I'm adjusting as I need it. Um, I have been doing a lot of sprints. Um, when my kids are out training, I will sprint with them. I'm doing a lot of extra activity. My wife and I go on our daily walks together when I wake up early enough, which I haven't been doing lately. I've been sleeping in a little bit. I'll go on my morning walk with the dog. I'm usually in a stand-up desk. I stay very active. So the whole thing for me with this prep is to not let it affect my life, and it hasn't. In fact, I've been performing better than ever in everything I'm doing. Um, as far as business, we're crushing it. Um, we should have everything set for Target. Um, we are going into Target, the physical stores with the Outright Bar in March. Um, for now, we're gonna be on Target Online and that should hit any day now. We are officially up to 20 full-time flavors of the Outright Bar. We just launched Apple Cinnamon. We also have coming in the next couple weeks, Peppermint, Cookies and Cream, as well as Gingerbread Outright Bar coming out. We have another um, special, special announcement coming right at the Olympia. That's gonna be a huge announcement that's gonna blow your mind. We have Matt Murano starting here on the 19th. He's actually gonna be working out of Tennessee with us. We're growing and also all the out of stocks. So what happened with those, I wanna explain the out of stocks, is that essentially when COVID hit, we went into conservation mode because we were actually prepared, Chad and myself, to quarantine ourselves in our warehouse in Ohio and live there. We have showers, we have everything we need. And then Randall, who manages Vegas, was gonna quarantine himself at the West Coast office should we be shut down, should our sales drop, whatever. Thankfully, our sales grew. In fact, one sector of our business grew 637% through July. So from March through July, during the lockdowns, we grew 637%. So we're actually able to grow and expand, and that's really awesome. So we're gonna be able to, so what I'm saying is, we pretty much took our supply chain and instead of increasing inventory, we, we basically put a pause on new purchase orders because we didn't know what was gonna happen. So as that happened, you can't just click a button. It's not like running out of toothpaste. You can't just go to the store and buy it. So once we clicked it back in, it's gonna take between 10 and 20 weeks to get your supply chain and your momentum based on your algorithmic sales back on track. So with that said, we are now back. We have banana cream pie, apple pie, pumpkin pie back in stock, chocolate MTS way back in stock, triple chocolate cake back in stock. On Friday, we will have cookies and cream, two pounders back in stock. Then we're gonna have peanut butter cookies and cream next week back in stock. So we're gonna have all these in stock, Nutrient Driver back in stock. Sniper, we just launched a new pre-workout. So we are, and Ruckus, we just relaunched it, redid it, better than ever. So we're in a great spot now, and we have a lot of good expansion ideas. We're gonna have new products, new categories from Outright Foods. Gonna have, of course, Tiger Fitness's growth. Gonna have MTS Nutrition continuing to grow and continuing to blossom. We're gonna have Katie right there in the, in the window. That's my office right there, by the way. Um, and things are good. So on the HRT front, in case you guys were wondering what's going on with that, um, same old, same old. Um, 300 milligrams, what? You talk too much? I'll be in for dinner. I'll meet you. Okay. 300 milligrams of testosterone per week. Threw in DECA at 100 milligrams due to my joint issues. Um, hopefully that doesn't have a negative effect on my pee pee. Um, then we have the metformin, still 500 milligrams two times a day. Armor Thyroid, 
um, every day, 60 milligrams. And then we have HGH at two IUs, five days per week. And I think that pretty much does it. So it's a very simple prep. And if you guys haven't seen my picture, it's on the thumbnail. I'm going to have Jason put that in there. But I really, really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, again, feel free to email me. I'm Mark, M-A-R-C, at mtsnutrition.com. That's Mark at mtsnutrition.com. Shoot me a DM on Instagram, at Mark Lobliner. Follow me on Twitter, at Mark Lobliner. Facebook, at Mark Lobliner. I'm not as good with messages on Facebook as I am Instagram. I will find that I'll forget about them and not check them for two weeks. I'm getting better at that. Um, but it's going to be really busy. I'm not going to be interacting as much on Instagram or Twitter just because my schedule has been crazy. But hopefully, hopefully you guys are enjoying this prep. I'm enjoying the hell out of it. And hopefully you do more chats like this where it's kind of chill. I'm out here enjoying life, enjoying the wilderness. Got little insects flying around around me. I can't state enough how happy I'm living in the great state of Tennessee. Um, appreciate you guys watching. And, and it's good to see these different sides. Like we can have these discussions, these conversations. And, you know, we can also get fired up about topics. And that's what it's all about. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That's not a game.